Well, this is a good example of a, a deer damage to one of our trees, and this is a buck rub. And a buck rub is where a deer, a male deer, grows the antlers and rubs the antlers on our trees. They rub the antlers because the antlers have velvet and velvet becomes itchy. So they try to rub it off on the tree and that's what we get, this nice, really smooth appearance. Some people try to save these trees because, oh, we got to save our little babies. We don't like saving them when they have damage like this because when they're damaged, these diseases can start to occur. And this is a gallery that we have either to a bark beetle or a boar. A bark beetle is a little beetle that drills in and just makes a little gallery just underneath the bark, between the bark and the xylem. A boar is one, the boars are a little bit more complicated. The other can have a gallery on between the bark and the xylem, or they can go actually go into the xylem. You should probably look it up on which kind of boar it is, and that will help. The, the gallery will help identify the type of boar that it is. Going back to the buck rub, the reason that we think that it's bad for buck rubs is that a buck rub hits against a tree, and once it rubs against it, it's a lot of stress it puts on the tree. It's an injury it puts on the tree, and the tree becomes stressed and becomes weakened. And after it becomes stressed and after it becomes weakened, bugs and insects and diseases can then start attacking those trees. We don't like having diseases, bugs, insects, anything on our, in our nursery, so when we get a chance, we like to throw these guys out into the dumpster. When we have something of a bug that attacks a tree, we, there's a couple of different ways we, we identify it. If the bug is attacking a dead portion of the tree, we call that a saprophyte. If it's attacking the live portion, we call that a parasite. Parasite means it's eating something that's alive. A saprophyte means it's decomposing something that's already dead. If we, some people like, oh, saprophytes are okay, but that's not always true. Some saprophytes have an ability to become parasites, and when they have that ability, we add the word facultative to the name of it. If we say that there is a facultative parasite, facultative means it has the ability to become it means that we have a saprophyte that has the ability to become a parasite. So when we have a saprophyte attacking one of our trees, we usually label that as a facultative saprophyte or a facultative parasite because it has the ability to become something else. So when we have these diseases, we don't we don't want them in our nursery, and we just try to eliminate the whole issue by throwing it out. And did you stay at the Holiday Inn Express last night? No, I did not. I just know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, all right. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. One tree that is seldom damaged by deer in your landscape is a multi-stemmed river birch tree. Single stems do get damaged hard, but multi-stems seem to thwart off the deer. It's also a great addition for your landscape. Another tree that we recommend for deer-infested areas is the green giant arborvitae. As long as the deer population isn't real high and they're real hungry, the green giant makes it through most cases with very little damage by deer. Since it grows so fast, if the deer do browse it a little bit, it seems to grow back. Plus, it has a bitter taste for the deer, and the deer, therefore, leave it alone. At our farm, we can recommend to you many kinds of trees that offer deer resistance. But just remember, if your tree does get rubbed by deer, we do suggest that you think about removing the tree because it will become a site for other pathogens to enter the tree or it's in a weakened condition which will allow other pathogens to be successful in the attack of that tree. And who wants a bunch of pathogens in your landscape? So call us at 215-651-8329 at Highland Hill Farm. If you have questions about trees and shrubs, give us a call at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-8329 or email us at bill at highlandhillfarm.com. If you like this video, I hope you subscribe and please go to the subscribe button and subscribe to our videos. Thank you. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.